For updates and more information, go to tcm.com festival. I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight, all of our films revolve around wind, at least their titles do. And up next, we have a film from Warner Brothers in 1958 called Wind Across the Everglades. It has great credentials, a script by Bud Schulberg, who wrote On the Waterfront. It was, according to the credits, directed by Nicholas Ray, and it stars Christopher Plummer and Burl Ives. Also with Peter Falk, and with the famous circus clown Emmett Kelly, and the legendary stripper and author Gypsy Rose Lee. I mean, how's that for a mix of people? Now, the story is about rare bird poaching in South Florida, and it was a pet project, especially for Bud Schulberg. Schulberg was a hands-on screenwriter, believing the most important facet of filmmaking was the screenplay. So nobody was really surprised after Bud's huge success with 1954's On the Waterfront that he would form a production company with his brother Stuart, a movie producer and writer, so they could produce film versions of their own stories, and that's just what they did. The brothers had no problem striking a deal with Warner Brothers for them to make two films for the company, Winds Across the Everglade to be the first of the pair. But soon after production began, the Schulberg brothers and the Warner Brothers had reasons to be very sorry they ever pursued this particular project. I mean, it was a nightmare from day one, the cause depending on who tells the story. Nick Ray claimed the trouble was due to Bud Schulberg, who Nick Ray believed wanted to direct the film himself. The Schulbergs and many of the cast and crew said the trouble came from the fact that Nick Ray was struggling with substance abuse. Things became so dicey during location shooting in Florida, in the Everglades, that Nicholas Ray eventually left the production and the Schulberg brothers and cinematographer Joseph Brune completed the film without him. Well, Nick Ray didn't stick around until the end, but throughout you can still see flashes of his unique directing style. So here's the movie from 1958, Wind Across the Everglades. 